Whew. It is impressive to be here, yeah, on the stage. <laughs> I prefer to be on the other side. Um, my name is Arnold Chatelain. I'm uh, leading the, the procurement digitization for Signify. And I am as well um, a master trainer in advanced negotiations. So I'm passionate about, yeah, really about two things. Yeah, it is technology and people. Yeah, and most of the time we, we try to, to separate the both. But I learned, yeah, that a, a tool, yeah, a module, uh, a software, yeah, is not a solution. Yeah, you, you, need, you need people, yeah, to, to design it, to improve it, the software or the tool, and to use it at the right time and at the right place. By the way, who know in this room who is Cinefy? What is Cinefy? I saw one hand, two, three, four. Okay, I definitely need to talk to the marketing department. Yeah, we are <laughs> doing a bad job. Yeah. Um, so, who is Cinefy? Cinefy is the number one. Yeah, not only in the uh, US, no, in, in the world for uh, lightning. Yeah, so 7.5 billion um, sales, 35,000 people. Yeah, it's, a, it's a quite a big company, no, not the biggest, but it's, it's, it's substantial. And the company is already in 2020 uh, uh, carbon neutral. Yeah, so sustainability, and we, we heard just before, is really uh, a key topic for us. So, um, most of you don't know Cinefy, but maybe you know one of these brands. Yeah, if you see yeah, a very beautiful bridge yeah, with a beautiful light or monument with this light, there is a high probability that Cinefy is behind it. If you go to a shop yeah, in Europe yeah, and you see Philips, it is in fact Cinefy. If you go to US, if you see Cooper Lightning, it is Cinefy behind. Cinefy yeah, went through a technolo technological disruptions, a very heavy one. Yeah? So before, yeah, if, you, if you remember, yeah, in your house, you have this bulb yeah, with a filament and gas inside. And we move yeah, to LED. Yeah? And most of the time, uh, uh, the company have a lot of have difficulty to, to, to make the transition and to stay the leader from the old technology to the new technology. Yeah, if you remember uh, Kodak, for example, for the uh, digital photography, didn't manage the, the shift of technology. If you see uh, Nokia for the mobile phone, for example, didn't manage. Cinefy manage. Yeah, in 2022, at the end of 2022, we had 140 million uh, connected light points. And we had 83% of revenue with uh, the new business. So we, we transform yeah, in uh, our business. And if you want yeah, to, to transform your business, you need as well to transform your organization. And I was leading the, the transformation, the digitization of, um, of procurement. So we did this in, in almost three years yeah, with um, Internally, yeah, we, we didn't use uh, consultants, so we, we build a board, yeah, so a backbone, digital backbone, and we have a, a procurement uh, platform in the middle. So in this procurement platform, we do e-sourcing, we do contract management, we do purchase order management, we do invoicing, we do savings management a lot. But most of the procurement platform doesn't provide all what you need to survive in a stormy environment. So you need, on the side, yeah, several cloud applications yeah, to, to, to help you. Yeah? So we have, for risk management, for example, Sphera. We have, for innovation management, we use uh, another application. And of course, one of the most important, we use a priori for shul costing. But as I said before, yeah, um, tools, modules, software, cloud platform is not the solution. Yeah, you need, on top of it, 
dedicated process. So we have, I would say, one process, yeah, you see on the side of the cycle, which is dedicated to early supplier engagement. So we, every year, yeah, we engage with our supplier. Yeah, we create events. Yeah, so we have 100, I cannot remember, but it's, it's quite huge, where we gather together supplier, R&D, product management, and procurement, and we think how we can design to cost or design for sustainability. This, we, we manage, of course, all the ID, we mature them, and we implement them. Yeah? And we have another cycle, yeah, where another process, where we negotiate price with our new supplier. So I can tell you our supplier have a tough journey with us. They need to innovate with us and they, give, they need to give us better price. And of course, yeah, you need as well dedicated people. Yeah, so we have, for example, a, a team in procurement for sustainability. Yeah, we, uh, we count recently that we have 17 new regulations coming yeah, which will impact us. So we prepare ourselves, we prepare our data model, we prepare our, uh, our master data, we clean them, we, we, we look at which investments we'll make in the future to be prepared, to, to be ready for the new, uh, the new regulations. Despite we are doing already a lot in sustainability. We have a team uh, for uh, data, data, data analysis, data crunching, um, where, because procurement is generating more and more data, and I can tell you it will be with the new regulations uh, more, yeah, and you need uh, specialized people, yeah, to, to, to navigate to the, to the data, uh, extract the noise, yeah, and make sense of it. And we have team as well to drive digitalization, yeah, because as I said, a tool alone will not help you, yeah, you need to do the change management. And you, you need to have the people which have understanding of the business, understanding how the people are thinking. Yeah? So most of the people are irrational, emotional. You need to, to move them yeah? and need to talk at the same time to the people from IT, yeah? which have a very factual, yeah? very process-oriented. Um, and of course, we have dedicated people, uh, buyers, and we have as well cost master, yeah? which are the people which uh, will drive the, the shoe costing. As a signify, so we, we build a boat to, to navigate in this stormy water, but we think um, yeah, the, 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 the water will remain stormy. Yeah? So we, we build a platform to remain flexible and agile. So now a question to you. What is one of procurement key tasks? Mm -hmm. Not bad? Yes. I will summarize in three words. Yeah? Get more with less. Yeah? And if you talk with uh, the people from a priori sales, they will, they will confirm. Yeah? So when they are dealing with our procurement organization, we ask more and we want to pay less. Um, yes, it is, it is what procurement is doing. So it's a yeah, of course, they, they look for suppliers, they, they, they innovate with them, but they prepare, prepare negotiation and negotiate. And what is the basic of a successful negotiation? Yeah, and I, I made a lot, yeah, and I, as I said, I, I trained the people on it. You, you can really have a good negotiation when you, you have access to the information. Yeah, the, the information that the supplier doesn't want to give you. Yeah, he's hiding it yeah, because he's, he's afraid to lose his margin. And at the same time, yeah, if you want to have a successful in, uh, negotiation, you need to understand and to listen to your supplier. And we found out that should cost is an extreme powerful instrument for negotiation. Maybe some of you will tell me, yeah, a should cost it can be wrong. Yes, it can be wrong, but you, you make your supplier reacting. You, you send him the true cost, you tell him, okay, I want, uh, I think I'm paying too much, yeah? so it's the price that I should pay. And the supplier tells you, no, it's completely wrong. And you ask him, where 
where I am wrong. Tell me more. And slowly, yeah, slowly, the, the supplier is opening up. You know more insight. Why he spends so much money? And sometimes you can help him to reduce the cost. So you have, by using true costing, you are moving your relation with the supplier to another level. Yeah, it is collaboration. Yeah, innovation. Yeah, we, we, we work together. Yeah, at the end, the procurement doesn't want that the supplier is dying because we still need the product. So it's a, really is improving the co collaboration. And what we realize, yeah, is each time that we do a short costing, we are getting saving. Yeah, and most of the time in a lot of organizations still, yeah, procurement is measured with savings, yeah, the performance of the organization. So maybe in the future it will be a CO2 footprint, but currently it's still saving. So euro dollars. And no, I, I, I come to, to, to the problem, yeah, why, why I'm here today to, to talk to you, yeah. What, what is the issue with true costing? It, it, it's complex. Yeah? The, the, a priori is a very nice tool, and don't take me wrong, yeah, but it's nevertheless. It's complex. Yeah? You need dedicated people yeah, to, to, to use it. Yeah? It's, it's like if I give you a hammer, you need to know how to use it. And it's time consuming. Yeah? And if you look at this, because you have only a certain dedicated people to do short costs, you have less negotiation and less savings. So we, we can't, we do thousand short costs per year, yeah, and yeah, and we think if we do more, yeah, we'll get more money. But so maybe the, the, the first thinking, yeah, maybe we need to increase the number of people. So that was our dream, yeah, our aim. We want to multiply by 10 the number of true costing that we are doing per year. So to move to 10,000, yeah. So you make the calculation, if I have, let's say, 5% saving with 1,000 true costing, how much I will have with 10,000? Yeah, much more. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's where the, the eyes of the, the procurement is shining yeah, when you see the euro value behind uh, the business case. And to do this, yeah, we have to, to remove two bottlenecks. The first one yeah, is this dedicating team doing the short cost. Yeah? And the second bottleneck yeah, is the uh, buyers. Yeah? Because when you have the short cost, you need as well someone to negotiate after. Yeah? You have to do bottleneck. So how it is working, how it was working in the past, yeah? you have a, a buyer who uh, wants to have a short costing because he wants to prepare for negotiation. He asks research and development, yeah, give me the 3D drawing. Okay, so we get it. Sometimes it takes time, sometimes it takes day. So the, the R&D guy doesn't know where he puts the drawing. And the, the buyer, after sending it to the, to the cost master, so the cost expert, the cost expert which is using the a priori tool, do the calculation and send back the calculation to the buyer. That was the whole process. And we changed this. We wanted to democratize the use of the short cost. So what we create here is a simple web application where the, the cost matter is no more needed. As a buyer, I enter the item number, I enter the factory in which I would like to produce or the area of the world. For example, I want to produce in Mexico, in China, in Europe, and so on. And enter, of course, the quantities, maybe the, the, the batch size. I click on a button, and immediately I get my short cost. It is what we have done. Maybe the short cost is not percent, perfect, plus minus 10 percent, but the speed is important in business, and we wanted to gain speed. So, so the browser app is taking the, with the item number, is getting the 3D draw, drawing from the, the PLM system, send it to a priori, a priori calculate, and we send per email the short cost to the, to the buyer. But as I said before, you have a second bottleneck is the buyer, yeah, because 
you, you are limited as well. Yeah, you, you, we are in, in part of Signify is a very competitive environment. Yeah, almost everybody can do LED. Yeah, so you have to be creative, innovative. You have to be quick. Yeah, and you cannot increase the size of your organization as you want. Yeah, so you, you, you have to be smarter. So, so you cannot increase the number of buyers to, 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 to negotiate the social cost. That's what we did. Let's apply the Pareto principle. So. 80% of your impact is done by 20% of maybe your shoe cost. Yeah? And what we did is that we can send to, to, to a priori yeah, a, a mass request. So instead of going asking for one shoe cost, we ask for 100 yeah, for a product, for example, a product category. As a result, the tool is working yeah, during the night calculate everything, and the same day, in fact, this doesn't take too much time, you get a report. Yeah? You get a report when for each part of different scenario, what is your should cost? And we compare this with the data that we have in our SAP system, how much we are currently paying for the part. We look at the quantity, we make a a very simple multiplication, and we size the opportunity. Okay, here there is a 400,000 euro opportunity. We need to negotiate for it. So we, what we did is to find opportunity in the nose. Yeah, that uh, we not we 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 don't spend the time to negotiate everything, but negotiate what what matter. So. It's this journey we, we started um, one year ago. When I look today, we made it. Yeah, we have uh, simple and simple to use, simple to access. So the people are using it. We democratize uh, the shoot costing. Yeah, because not everybody was doing. And via the mass request as well, we we could trigger the shoot cost when the people were not uh, asking for it. Of course. We have still challenge, yeah, with like all the transformation. Yeah, for example, we have we make some acquisition, yeah, uh, but in the US and the the, 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 the the company doesn't have another uh, PLM system. Yeah, so we we don't have all the 3D drawing, but in general it, it works. In part for all the, the mechanical parts, we have still some issue when, for example, the tolerance is missing on the 3D drawing. But I, I can say it is a success. Yeah. And at the end as well, we track the savings, yeah, because we want to show yeah, that the investment yeah, to our, st uh, our shareholder is, is valuable. So now where we do we want to go? Yeah, because it was one step. Yeah, what, what, what is our next step? Um, as you can see on, on, on the wall, yes, CFI is number one yeah, in terms of sustainability in, in, in industry. And we are a leader, and we want to remain a leader. Okay, we, 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 we got a lot of awards. And naturally, yeah, is our, our next target yeah, is to increase the, the research and development usage of a priori, yeah, to, to have more design to cost, more design for sustainability. That will be our, our next step. And I'm exploring as well if we can automate uh, the negotiation yeah, with AI, but that is another story, maybe uh, next year. So that's all what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to thank you, the audience, yeah, to, to listen to me. Yeah? And I wanted to thank uh, a priori to inviting me to this conference. And uh, yeah, LP means this uh, transformation journey. Thank you very much.